can't believe this. 20 minutes already. How about that? It's too small. 20 minutes I've been looking for a parking space. That could be one. No! You I am running out of time. Everybody. Now, for today's episode, we chose a topic which most motorists out there are familiar with, especially in crowded cities and when time is your biggest enemy, and that is finding a free parking space, a situation I had this morning. Now, luckily, there are people out in this world that come up with brilliant ideas and solutions for exactly these kinds of situations, and one of them is here today with us. He is from Continental's Parking Experts from Park Pocket. Here is Benedict Beganda. Benedict, nice to have you. Hi, great to see you, Chris. So tell us a bit about the solution you brought along with you. We have developed an app and I got it with me. So um, this is the app. Here you can see a map and it displays all the parking options uh, within the city center. Not bad. So this gives me a nice overview, so to say, over... Uh, Chris, this is too small. I need it bigger. Uh, he's talking about the phone. Okay, check it out. <laughs> Hold on, I got it. Oh, uh, wait, wait. I got this. Aha! Oh, that's better. That's better. Now, I'm wondering if you get this into a plane if you put it in flight mode, though. Well, I doubt it, though. <laughs> okay, so let me show you the app. Um, so if we zoom in to the city... The wonderful city of Munich, by the way. Exactly. We can see all the parking garages popping up. So what you can see here now um, is not only all the available parking options, but also the availability. Plus, we can also pre-select the parking period. So let's say we want to uh, park for three hours now. So and now what happens is the prices are automatically calculated and you can actually select whatever car park you want. Okay, you so can... let's say we want to go right into the Altstadt. Exactly, then uh, we'll see, well, that seems to be um, a good price. Um, so we can see the detail view. And what we can now do is we get all the relevant information um, regarding uh, the car park there. So we have um, handicap parking, women parking, are there electric um, spaces available? Plus we get the prices of course, what are the payment options and all the relevant information that you want. So, and when having selected uh, the appropriate car park, we can directly navigate, we save time, we save money, and that's our so-called off-street solution. So tell me, where does all this data actually go to? What, what happens with it? Where do I get my information from? So I think you might be familiar with that already, because actually the data is both collected and processed uh, within the Continental Cloud. I do have something. Probably you all remember. But what if I have other things to do in the city? And uh, I'm going to move my car now from the car park somewhere else. Let's say a parking spot on the street. We've actually also developed uh, an on-street solution. Uh -huh. But let me just show you. Okay, so now we're on street. So now a car that is driving alongside the street can actually collect data all relevant to on-street parking spaces. And let me guess, not only my own car is collecting data, but other cars that have the system installed also, right? So everybody benefits from it. Right, and all those cars are actually making um, that service um, even better. Now you profit from the data and you can use that data to now find a parking spot right next to the street. See that? Perfect parking. So all I have to do now is walk down the street, get my parking ticket and I'm good to go, right? You don't have to do that because we recently introduced a service that now allows you to pay parking via phone uh, and it's already available for some parking lots. So that means we can get rid of this Great solution. Thank you very much for joining us, Benedict. But before you leave, one more thing we have to do, and that is a selfie, of course. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Keep your eyes on the road and be on the lookout for the next episode of The Garage coming to you soon. Until then, take good care. Bye-bye. You gotta be joking.